My name is Duddy, so I do builds and stuff, and today I've got an absolutely insane combo to show you. An exotic bow, and this bow is going to feel like it's coming from the depths of hell. You are wielding the devil's bow, it's absolutely insane, and I'm also going to be pairing this with Sanguine Alchemy on the Warlock, and we're going to get some insane damage. This bow absolutely melts through everything, and this build is absolutely crazy, so stay tuned, I'm going to break everything down. So we'll start off with the bow, the hierarchy of needs. This is an exotic reward from the Spire of the Watcher dungeon. Guidance ring, precision hits on final blows, build guidance, ring energy, opposing guardians grant additional energy. While you're at full charge, hip firing creates a guidance ring and it's got the exotic trait on there. Arrows fired through the guidance. Ring release seeking projectiles, which do more damage based on the distance traveled. The catalyst on there, you get this from completing the master version of the Spire of Watcher. Deploying a guidance ring or striking a target of a seeking projectile improves draw time and reload for a moderate duration. But this is what the bow can do. If you just look on that left hand side, you'll see I've got that guidance ring. Once you've got this filled up with either a precision hit or a kill, you just release with a hip fire, create a big burning ring of fire, and everything that you fire through there, whether it's through a hip fire or you aim it, these little seeking projectiles also do damage as well as the crit hit. So it's an absolutely crazy, crazy bow. One of the best bows in the game, if not the best in my opinion. Sanguine Alchemy is a perfect pairing with this one because when you're standing in any rift and you're pretty much stationary when you use this bow, you're going to gain a bonus to weapons with a damage type matching your subclass type. Obviously with Solar, the bow is Solar. Weapon final blows while standing in any rift. Pause the rift's cooldown. It gives you a 17% damage increase just by standing in your rift. But if you run it with an empowering rift, that all stack together. So you're going to get some really big damage increase. 17% plus your empowering rift. And once you've got this down, it's absolutely amazing. It shreds everything. And the best thing I like about this boat, once you've got that guidance ring up, it's really good for peaking. So if you're doing 1840 content like this, not only is it absolutely shredding enemies, you are very safe because you can sort of peek in and out, hip fire like that, and it's quite safe gameplay as well, so you're pretty safe whilst you're inside that powering rift to get your max damage. Your powering rift, sanguine alchemy, and this boat with the guidance ring just absolutely shreds. Now there's an absolutely insane perk in the seasonal artifact called Rapid Fire Ranger. Rapid precision hits against distant combatants, weaken them for a short duration. It's a 15% debuff, and it says at a distance, it's like 25 meters, but it's hardly any distance at all. But look at this, when you've got this going, this just adds to it, and this literally turns this build and bow into something else. It demolishes majors, champs, and everything, even boss damage, this bow. Once you've got that rapid fire ranger going on, you see him glisten, he goes purple, that's the rapid fire ranger. It's anti-barrier bow this season, and just look at the state of this, it absolutely wrecks this 1840 champion. Even with overloads, if you can stun them, just look at it. It's absolutely magical. Really, really good. And on top of that, you've got the benefits of standing in your empowering rift. It's absolutely nutty. But what I wanted to do is go into a bit more safe gameplay. So what I've done is I've added a healing grenade to this build. We're going to lob that healing grenade down to get six seconds of restoration. But we can add even more to it via Ember of Empyrean, Solar Weapon or Ability Final Blows extend the duration of the restoration. So you can pop your healing grenade down and just keep getting kills and you're just gonna extend your radiance and your healing. On top of that, another fragment to run is Ember of Solace. So your radiant and restoration effects applied to you have an increased duration. So this little combo makes you have loads of damage from the Sanguine Alchemy, the Empowering Rift, and you're gonna have healing just like that. You're going to see that restoration times two for six seconds and then as soon as you get a couple of kills with this that uh, healing is just going to extend and you can just infinitely carry this on with your uh, solar bow with the hierarchy of needs and once you've got it all procced my god you are an invincible healing damage machine any distance close or far you can literally chew through enemies keep that radiant going as well I also run Radiant on this build, so we're going to get even more damage. Radiant does stack with Sanguine Alchemy as well, so even more damage. Radiant, I like to run with Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks grant uh, you and your nearby allies Radiant, so a nice 25% damage on the fly. This, again, with Ember of Empyrean, 
with your healing grenade it's just going to extend the restoration and your radiant effects applied to you and you can just keep going you can just keep extending this so all together this bow and this build with sanguine alchemy just feels super super nice and it's perfect for anything you do in the game something else that run on the seasonal artifact pack is elemental orbs a solar version when you're using your solar subclass your weapon kills spawn these little solar orbs and once you've got your restoration proc you can actually use these balls to extend the radi radiant and your healing as well so if you just look there you're going to see my restoration is only times two get a couple of kills and it goes up to almost 10 seconds so that's just an added little bonus you're going to create loads of these little balls as well to extend your radiant and your restoration so all in all you've got everything going on you've got loads of seeking projectiles flying out solar orbs coming left right and center healing damage and by the way sanguine alchemy also stacks when you're inside of a well of radiance as well so getting you super for even more difficult situations is going to benefit you and your teammates and for some reason you just get absolutely loads and loads of super energy with this bow now we'll quickly just go over my aspects of fragments just so we've got them nailed touch of flame this one is super important this aspect because that is going to improve your healing grenades the cure and restoration the other one I like to run is Heat Rises. Now we only really use this for the bottom bit. Final Blows while airborne increase the duration of Heat Rises and grant melee energy. But don't be fooled by that airborne stuff for the melee energy. As long as you jump and get a kill you get loads of melee energy back. Healing Grenade, absolutely uh, important for this one. Celestial Fire or Incinery Snap, whichever one you prefer. And then Empowering Rift or Healing Rift, whichever one you prefer. Ember of Torches, powered melee attacks against combatants make you radiant. Ember of Solace, Radiant and Restoration effects applied to you have an increased duration. Ember of Singeing, because when we use our melee, we're going to scorch, so we get loads of class ability back for our rifts. And then Ember of Empyrean, Solar Weapon or Ability Final Blows extend the duration of your restoration. So I just want to do a quick sort of recap. You've got your Radiant going on via your melees, which you can extend. You've got your Healing, your Restoration, which you can extend again via Ember of Empyrean. We've got the buffs from Sanguine Alchemy, Rapid Fire Ranger, all working together very nicely some other weapons i like to pair with this is heritage with recombination or succession recombination is a really good perk you get loads of kills to boost that weapons with incandescent a good solar heavy something like fixed odds deliverance or riptide something like chill clip demolitionist weapons are all re really really nice with this build but a good solar machine gun i recommend just so you can get that plenty of kills for your empyrean and things like that just going to quickly go over my mods. Solar Holster, I found this one really beneficial, especially for solar rocket launchers and machine guns. Really, really good. So you don't have to really worry about having to reload. Solar Scavenger, only costing one on the artifact mods this season. Absolution, reduce all ability codes down each time you pick up an orb of power. On my Bond, I like to run Double Bomber. Every time I use my class ability, I'm going to get my Healing Grenade back. And then Distribution reduces all ability cooldowns when I use my Rift. And then Sanguine Alchemy on my chest piece. I always stick to a Concussive Dampener. And then just match the Activity Elements, what I'm doing. On my Arms, this one's quite important as well. Focuses Strength, current class ability every time you cause damage with a melee attack. And then I also like to run Impact Induction times 2 causes damage with a melee attack reduces your healing grenade so a good little combo to run on your arms on my helmet i like to run uh, solar targeting now i don't usually run this but for this boat i really find solar targeting very very beneficial you'll see what i mean if you do try it out and then double heavy ammo finder because we don't need to run orbs for solar surges because they don't stack with alchemy but there you go that is that i'll leave everything playing out in case i didn't leave uh, in case I didn't explain it well enough and I'll also leave a dim link in the video description. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.